So, I've been daily vlogging or making a video for almost four or five days now. I'm not quite sure. It's, it's kind of like all blur. And making a daily video is kind of hard work. I didn't realize how hard it was being a YouTuber. Then I didn't realize how hard it was to make a daily video. And I smashed them all together. I don't know if you know this or not. I kind of do other things. I have businesses I need to run. I got to meet with clients. I got to make sales calls. I got to send emails. I got to do all these other things. I got to maintain. And I got a lot on my plate. I got a lot of balls in the air. I'm juggling all the time. And sometimes they fall. I try not to let them all fall because, let's be honest, nobody wants your balls on the floor. Today, I want to talk about being productive. How to increase your productivity overnight and have a productive day so you can enjoy your evenings or your mornings or anything that you enjoy. Because I had to get things done in the least amount of time so I could enjoy time with my family. Here's how I manage my time and be more productive making videos, making content, and meeting with clients. Let's hop into it. But first, thanks for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, hi, welcome, and I'm Alex, and I'm giving you a big old welcome to my channel. I make self-development content in a funny way, sometimes cinematic way, sometimes both, sometimes not, but today is gonna be neither it's going to just be red hot info that you could use today and help you be more productive. So let's hop into the video. I'm going to use this whiteboard right here to illustrate my point. Tip number one. Tip number one is to keep your workspace tidy. I usually do this after I'm done working. So before I'm done working, I wrap everything up and I clean up. And it usually gets the mess because I'm not sure if if you do this, but most creatives I know that people that are super creative, they just make tons of mess. So I have camera equipment everywhere, I have lighting equipment everywhere, I just got papers everywhere, and I need to clean that up. So in the morning, I could just hop right into my toughest task. See, I'm not sure you know this or not. You have a fine amount of willpower. And this was a video game, your willpower would be your health bar. And this is how much you have. And being creative, boop, gone. Half of it is gone right there. So usually I tackle the hardest task first of my day and I get that done. Then later on I do the mundane routine task. Like cleaning and tying up my area. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, got it, I do that. Tip number two is to plan your day. If you watched my last video, how to get and stay motivated, planning your day is essential. And I'm going to tell you a quote real quick. I'm going to paraphrase the quote. I'm not sure exactly what is the quote, but you will get the gist of the quote. All right? A genius without a roadmap won't get anywhere, but an average person with a roadmap will achieve their destination. So what's the point of that quote? Is if you don't have a plan for your day, you dilly dallying doing things that's not important. You do things that does not move the needle. And getting things done and being productive, you need to move the needle. So schedule your three core tasks. What is essential that you need to get done and get it done today? Tip number three is to give yourself a time limit. And I'm gonna do this really fast because my camera is about to die. So let's hop to it. So. Tip number three is give yourself a time limit. Let me tell you a quick story real quick. One time I was in school and I had a whole month to do a book report and guess what I did? I didn't do that book report when I got home. I got it done in the very last second. I actually only had like three hours to get it done and I pumped up a high quality book report in three hours. I got to be on it. That being said, you'd be surprised how much you could get done. So every time you have a task, a core task, so every time you have a task, estimate how long it would take you to get it done and give yourself a time limit and try to work really hard to get that task done in a lot of time. You'd be surprised how much you get done, you reduce your lollygagging, and you just pump out amazing work. So let me illustrate this point even more. Imagine something happened to you. You need to get a lawyer. There's two lawyers. All right, one charged $100 an hour. The other one charged $500 an hour. And you're like, 
$500 an hour, Alex. That's kind of a lot for a lawyer. But let me tell you, viewer, give me one second and I'll explain it to you. So the guy who's $100 an hour, he was like, you think about like, I'm going to that guy. He's $100 an hour. You hired him and he take 10 hours to get your work done. And he charged you $1,000. And I went to the guy who's more proficient, who's more productive, and he gets things done. And he crushes his task. And he charged me $500. And he got it done in one hour. He took a 10 hour task to turn it into one hour because he's proficient and he knows what to do. And he's lazy targeted and he gives himself a time limit to get things done in one hour and deliver results. To be successful in your life, you have to deliver results in a fast time. This is how people take 10 years to start a side project, 10, 10 years to start a YouTube, 10 years for anything. But you can really get it done like in a year. So give yourself a time limit and stick to that time limit and get it done. Tip number four is to do more focused sprints. And this goes hand in hand with the last tip. So once you give yourself a time limit, now you got to do focused sprints. Say your task takes five hours to do and you got to do sprints. So sprints could be anywhere between 30 to one hour. This is also called the Pomodoro technique, but I think sprints sounds way more cooler. All right. I usually do 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Then I break down my task. So say the task takes three hours to do. Now that's six sprints I need to get done. I set a timer on my computer. You, if you have Alexa, should I, should I set that? Did it go off? I'm sorry. But if you have any device that can make a timer, set it. And also turn off all notifications. If you have a computer and you're working on a computer, use the app called Rescue Time. There's some other things you could do, but it blocks out websites that makes you unproductive. Like for me, I spend a lot of time on YouTube and Reddit, reading memes and watching videos. And that's why I need to be productive so I can squeeze my YouTube time in. Because once you're making YouTube videos, you'd be surprised how much time you don't have to watch YouTube videos. And I became a YouTuber because I like watching YouTube videos. The irony of it. But anyways, so once you're done, you set your timer for 30 minutes to an hour and you get it done. You focus and you do that task at hand. You don't do anything else and you focus on that task at hand. So after your timer goes off, you give yourself a break for 5 to 10 minutes, depending how long your sprint. If I'm doing 30 minutes, I usually do 5. If I'm doing an hour, I do 10 minutes. Now after 4 sprints, you have time to give yourself a well-deserved break. Give yourself a break because studies have shown if you give yourself a break, you're more productive. So after these 4 sprints, I usually do 20 minutes to 30 minutes of a break. No matter what time, it really depends how I feel. And this time, I go drink water, I do some push-ups, I read a book. I just do anything that is different, but it's not too stimulating that I don't want to go back to work. For example, I won't go play Pokemon on my Switch or anything like that. Especially because that new DLC came out and I, I still didn't play it yet. Alright. Here. Yeah. Number five. Let me show the sign because I did all this work to make the sign. Tip number five is to have an, a task inbox. What is a task inbox you say? Let me show you real quick what it is. This is a task inbox. I use an app called Things 3 on my iPhone. I also have it on my Mac. And also when I'm doing a focus sprint, I don't really grab my phone because it's distracting. I usually use a piece of paper, then I put it in my task inbox once I'm done with my sprints. And a task inbox is anything that pops in your mind that you need to get done. So say something's out of place, put in a task inbox. Say you gotta do dishes, task inbox. Say you gotta go get grocery, task inbox. Say you gotta go buy a dog treats for your pug that you love so much, task inbox. Anything that pops in your mind that does not pertain the task you gotta get done at hand, you put in a task inbox. This clears your mind and you can focus on it and then you can come back to it later so you don't have that stress, that anxiety that you feel that you gotta get things done. Anyways guys, that is the video. I hope you find value in it. If you take a couple of these tips, I'm sure you'd be more productive and you could do things that you wanna do. Like feeding your bug and petting him. If you like the video, be sure to punch that like button. 
Also, if you have any productivity tips, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. I like getting things done faster, so if there's anything that you could teach me to make me more productive, I appreciate it. So let me know by the comments down below. And also, if you enjoy content like that, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to be notified while I drop a new video. I drop new videos daily, and I see you guys tomorrow.